Hey YouTube, 3 Printed Life here, and today is going to be a tutorial on how to unclog what I would call a soft clog from your 3D printed hot end without even taking it apart. Uh, now, this does require some materials, but I do sell a little kit on eBay for $7.50, which has everything you need. Sorry, no international shipping, it's too expensive to ship and it's not worth it. Um, but basically, what you need is some Talman 618 filament. You don't need too much, but a bit. Uh, in the kit, there is two meters of it, which is more than enough for like a dozen cloggings or uncloggings. Um, and whoops, a very thin wire, which I just dropped. Okay, so as I was saying, a very thin wire. Um, easy to lose, so be careful. Um, included in this kit is about a, a six inch or five inch piece. You don't really need that much. You need maybe two inches plus a little bit to grab. Um, but it's good to have extra just in case. Um, so anyway, the way this process works is, first of all, you're going to have um, your extruder, and you're going to want to find out if it's a clog or a jam. Um, there is a difference. A clog is uh, something where there is some kind of dirt, debris, or some kind of particles in the hot end itself that is physically blocking the flow of the hot filament. And this is either causing difficult extrusion or very spotty extrusion. So if you look at this piece that I have on here you'll see that the top is very, very spotty. It's almost like kind of spider webby. Um, and that is because it was um, skipping steps as it was trying to extrude because it was trying to push too hard and it just didn't have enough power to get it through because of the clog. Now, partially, um, I could benefit from a geared extruder, but um, besides that, it also is partially clogged because it should not be facing that much um, resistance when it's trying to extrude. Um, also, you'll notice that if you extrude normally and you look at the tip, you'll see the filament curl up back onto the nozzle. Um, mine's not hot, but I will start heating it up now, uh, so you can hopefully see that. Um, I don't know if mine is currently um, curling up, but I do know that it is not extruding smoothly, so I will be able to unclog it. Now, this will not fix jams, and jams are something that is unrelated to whether or not there's anything in the hot end. Like, um, jams can happen with metal hot ends when printing PLA. Uh, if your temperature is too low, it can uh, jam up when it is retracting, and um, uh, if you try to print too fast, sometimes it'll jam up, stuff like that. Um, but that's the sort of thing that does not happen with every print, and um, that's the kind of thing where if you stop the print, pull out the filament, snip it, and then push it back in, it should extrude just fine. Um, if that happens, you won't be able to benefit from doing these steps. So let's get right into this. I will try to put an annotation to jump right to this point if you already know what a clog and a jam are. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to remove any old filament. Um, so just heat up your hot end and pull this stuff out. Um, I don't have a third hand, so I'm going to have to be doing this and then showing you the results. So I'm just going to pull out this filament, which actually I can do with one hand. So get that out, get any of the stringy stuff out of the way. Uh, and then get your Talman filament. Just get it ready, don't want to put it in yet. Uh, then you're going to come over here to your computer and you're going to heat it up to about 230 degrees. I apologize for the shaky. There we go. 230, Fahrenheit, or 230 Celsius. So you're going to wait for it to reach the temperature. And then you're going to push the Talman filament through until you start seeing... The, uh, the clear Talman filament coming out of the hot end. Okay, so here I got it. So as you can see, it started off with the black PLA, and then it transitioned over to this Talman filament. Now, if your um, extruder, um, your hot end, is so clogged that you cannot even push it through to get to the Talman, what you're going to want to do is you're going to heat it up, uh, poke the tip with your wire to get all the gunk in, then try um, pushing your Talman through. Uh, hopefully you can get just a little bit to come out. Uh, and then at that point you're going to want to continue. So once you get that through, uh, once you make sure you cycle it um, so that it's all Talman filament, there's none of the old stuff left, you're going to come over here to your computer and you're going to change this temperature to 150. You're not going to shut it off, you're just going to lower the temperature. And you're going to just want to wait for it to get to that. Um, now I should mention that um, if you did have a hard clog and you had to poke it with the wire in order to get the Talman through, oop, it's pooping. Um, what you're going to want to do is, uh, as it's cooling, uh, once it gets to about 200, you're going to want to poke it up 
with this wire once again um, in order to push all of that gunk that was clogging the the, uh, the nozzle into the Talman filament because we're going to be pulling that out in just a little bit. Now I've found that the uh, Talman filament tends to just kind of ooze out a lot on its own. So usually also when it gets to about 200, I like to just push down just a little bit just so that um, it fills up all the gap that it uh, oozed out earlier. So now I'm just about at 150, and uh, when you're doing this, you're going to want to let it sit at 150 for about a minute or so, but I'm impatient, so I'm just going to pull it now. Um, not a huge deal if you pull it right away, but it is best to let it sit there just to let all the filament um, sort of uh, come together at the same temperature. I don't know what word I was looking for. Anyway, at this point, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be pulling this Talman out. Now keep in mind it's at 150, so it is cool, so it is going to be sticking in there a bit, and it's going to be a little bit tricky to pull out. So what I found works best is taking the, the uh, Talman and sort of wrapping it in a loop around my hand. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Not really. Um, but just sort of make a fist and wrap it around your hand, and then give it a nice steady pull by just kind of twisting your wrist like that and you're going to want to do that until it comes out but try to be uh, very steady with your motion and not too forceful so there we are i got a pretty good pull um i didn't quite quite get to the tip focus please i didn't quite get to the the uh tip of the hot end but i got pretty darn close so i will deal with that come on Okay, well anyway, as you can see, there's quite a bit of um, this black dirt and debris uh, that is sort of melded into the Talman filament. And this is all that old gunk that was in there before that was uh, lining the walls of your extruder and clogging the nozzle. Um, also, depending on your uh, hot end brand, you might notice a small little indentation towards the tip, and that's usually the part where it uh, converts from the barrel to the actual nozzle. So you're going to want to try to get that little part if you can. Um, but depending on the design of your hot end, you might not have that, so don't worry if you don't. Um, but anyway, once you've done this once, uh, it's good. You're going to want to snip off all this dirty stuff, usually go about half inch above, just in case. Uh, cut that inch or so off, and then do the same process again another three or four times until uh, the filament starts coming out relatively clean. So at this point, um, after you've run your Talman through a few times and done some pulls. It should look like this. Now I cheated, this is just the filament, I didn't actually put it through, but it should look pretty similar to the filament. You may notice some uh, discoloration, some like slight browning on the uh, Talman, but that's just because it was heated up, uh, and that's not a bad thing. You just don't want to see any of this black stuff coming out. And of course this will depend on the color of the filament that you've been using mostly. Um, I've just been using mostly black. So after that, your um, hot end should be, for the most part, unclogged. This won't do a perfect job. However, I found this does a much better job than uh, taking it apart using a blowtorch and uh, heating it up and letting the stuff drip out. That's just, it's such a pain to do, and it's so difficult, and you risk melting the, the nozzle. And there's just so many things that can go wrong with that. Not to mention the two times that I have done that with my old hot end, um, I've noticed that it didn't really help at all. So this method I found works extremely well. It usually unclogs it in just two or three passes. Um, and then after that I'm good to go for another couple dozen prints until it starts to clog up again. Of course this will depend on the quality of the filament you're using. I'm using some nice cheap eBay stuff so it will clog up quite often on me. But I think it's worth it. So anyway that's pretty much it. That is how you unclog your uh, hot ends without really taking it apart at all just using some Talman filament. Now once again you can buy a kit which includes a 2 meter piece of Talman 618 and this wire for unclogging purposes for $7.50 at eBay. Link is in the description. Feel free to purchase that and uh, help support me and my channel um, and my college life and stuff. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all later.